are you looking for a platform where you can conduct uh, seminars or meetings wherein you can share files and you can do video conferencing you can share your lessons if you are a teacher you can share your lessons to your students here i will show you what platform you can use today i will be sharing to you how to use zoom application teacher sonia here and welcome to everson vlog if you are new in this channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification button so you will be updated every time I uploaded a video. Let's so, so I will be sharing you now how to use Zoom application step by step. So first thing foremost, you need to download the Zoom application. All right. So assuming you already downloaded Zoom in your computer, you can also download this in your device, in your cell phones. So I have here Zoom application, so let's just open. Okay. Once you open, you will have this one, join a meeting or sign in. Okay, so you, if you want to join a meeting, you just enter this one. For sure, the one who invite you will give you the ID, meeting ID, and afterward the password. But our topic now is how to use it okay so you need to sign in maybe i can use my gmail let's just wait i am already in my zoom you have here home chat so now that i am here in my zoom you can see the features home chat meetings contact for the homes you can see this feature also new meeting join schedule or share screen if we go to the chat you can see uh, conversations in here meetings if you have scheduled meetings it will appear in here okay and the contact your contacts who are in your contacts maybe in the contacts in your email it will appear here okay and in here you want to make a new meeting okay let's make let's start let's try let's make it full there you go so this is if you did not turn on your mic your video it will appear like this so you need to turn on there you go you can see your face and for you to be heard by the people whom you invited to join your meeting you need to unmute yourself and in here inside here if you are the host you are the one who created the meeting you are you are the one who can control everyone so for example you can mute them all or you can choose which one you mute or which one you unmute it will appear in here later if you invite them for example let's say I will invite now I have here my contacts here how do I send my meeting ID to my to the recipients those who want to join the meeting so you need to just click invite or copy invitation and then you can go to their contacts in their email you can forward to their emails or send them send in their whatsapp or messenger you can send that and they will automatically receive it let's say for example i will invite my phone okay i go to image email and then find which one i want to invite okay let me invite teacher sonia it's automatically pasted here but you can delete this one up to here so it will not be confusing now only that one you can cut until there and then you can there you go please join zoom meeting it will appear here and then you can just click okay if you open your email you will have this one so you just take this one you just copy this is the id that i'm mentioning i mentioned a while ago meeting id you just copy that one and also with the passcode so you can join 
let us try okay there is also one way how to copy the link so you can easily share you can go to the left upper part of your zoom you can see in here meeting information you just click it and then you just copy the link copy the link yes and then you can go to the email that you want to to the recipient whom you want to receive this whom you want to join in your zoom meeting then you can just paste and send assuming that your participants are already in in here i'll show you how you can control them okay so you can go to these three dots here you click it you can see these are the settings you can ask all to unmute mute participants upon entry allow participants to unmute themselves allow participants to rename themselves rename meaning to say their names in the zoom that will appear play sound when someone joins or leaves enable waiting room lock meeting what is the use of lock meeting lock meeting make sure that if your participants are already complete you can use the lock meeting why because there are possibilities that some are uh, some unknown participants are joining so you don't know if someone came in and you just admitted so you need to check if it's complete then you can lock for example you, if you are a teacher if your students are already 20 you locked it so no one can come in and it is also advisable that you need to enable waiting room so for example your, your meeting is at 11 o'clock you can come in you can start at 10 45 so you still have 15 minutes to accept those who are coming in in your meeting so you need to enable this one so if ever you meet you are uh, you haven't seen them maybe you are busy doing something and they came in they will wait for you to admit they will stay first in the waiting room before you before they come in you need to admit them so there you go now we move to the share screen share screen this is where you can share your make sure that if you want to share a music or video you need to share computer sound so your the people who are joining in can hear the sound of the music that you share so wait let me open first in share screen you can have the option also one participants can share at a time in, if ever there are two hosts multiple participants can share simultaneously and then as advanced sharing option so try to share just click share and then you can see in here which one you want to open so maybe i want to share my file for example let's say okay you can see my screen right so i want to choose to share this one let's try Can how important for teachers and all educators oh. to be technologically oriented this is just thanks an to example. technology oh, that is part of this pandemic up. we can be able okay and then stop sharing all right you can also share the whiteboard whiteboard if you want to write something so for example let's say if you are a teacher maybe you want to try to write okay our lesson for today is about science see you can see it's working right or you can you have also the eraser here you can automatically automatically erase and then you can also write here for example science hmm. So while your students are listening to you, they can still see the screen. Not only for teachers, this is also for uh, facilitators. If you want to emphasize something using whiteboard, you can use. Okay, stop share. How did I go to the whiteboard? You can just share screen and then you can see the whiteboard there. Okay, you can also share from YouTube. After you share, after you share, 
or and if you want to record your meeting you can just click record record on this computer see it's recording participants also can click the reaction they can put clap they can put thumbs up if they understand or laughing so that's it and if you want to end the meeting you can just stop recording first stop recording and then end the meeting and meeting then it will automatically convert see it's converting so if it's con converted it will appear here you can find it in the zoom in your documents you will have this one automatically if you downloaded zoom it will automatically appear there you can rename this one maybe let's say uh meeting one now if you are a teacher you can just write there science one live session live session in science and then you can just copy and then send to your google drive so later you can just share to your classroom for the others if you are not a teacher also you can just you can just copy and share it via email to those who join the meeting if you are uh, conducting a seminar and they want your copy they want the files that you share during the meeting you can just share to them the converted one there you go so that's it guys that's the way how to use zoom application this is very helpful for principals teachers if you want to use online teaching especially in this time of pandemic and also for businessmen or companies who want to meet your uh, subordinates you can use this one you can use this platform and it's very easy this is also not limited to teachers to businessmen to to companies but also for students who are in college you can use this one to meet your members if you have group projects and you can share uh, files in this platform so I hope this really helps and if you are new in this channel don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification button so you will always be updated in my upcoming videos thank you for watching